Hello, hello, hello. It is 1020. Just got back from a run. I actually don't know uh, how much I did right now because I messed up my mount my hike thing. I pressed pause at the wrong time and it was already paused because I started auto pause. Anyway, I um pretty sure I went probably like five. I went almost an hour, so I think I went about five miles, and I will post that on my mount my hike after I'm done with this video. Now I had to address something I've um, for those of you who really pay attention you might know that I've got I wouldn't say a stalker I've got a harasser and um, you know it started out like I have no problems debating with people anybody who knows me totally knows that I pride myself on it um, so you know it just started out like friendly debate you know and it kind of came it just became this thing where he's going around like he or she honestly I don't know there's no picture so he's going around to like all of my videos especially all my Weston A. Price videos and trying to argue with me and he's gotten on some of my new ones now and again at first I'm like oh he's watching my videos you know eventually I'm gonna make money off of this so that's great you know and he's sharing them with people so other people are watching them and well maybe but it's getting to the point where it's getting a little bit like overplayed it's it's getting a little bit um personal, you know, and um, I have a hard time. I think once people go to that personal level, you know, it's like it's like taken me to a place where it's not a debate anymore. We're not discussing facts. So there's really no point. Um, I'm not going to go over everything that's said. I just want to respond to this one little part because, you know, I've had people comment on my appearance. And I think, again, those of you who know me know that, you know, I'm a single mom. I've said this before. I I get no child support. I um, zero. I've gotten sixty dollars in the past like five years <laughs> or something. So and I I work twelve hours a day over that because I run my own business and so I'm like cooking, cleaning, shopping, um, other prep. You know, prep for the preschool, things like that. Um, decorating, making new work different things like that so like it's a lot of time and effort and um, paperwork taxes all of that stuff so you know and I got I have two kids of my own two fur babies and you know I have a boyfriend so I'm you know and I only he lives actually like 40 about 30 35 40 minutes away so and you know I try to spend most of my weekends with him I do not get haircuts I cut my own hair. I don't get my nails done. I, they're usually dirty because I'm always in my garden and I just don't give a shit enough to actually clean them off. Right now, this is the most they've been done. They've got little stickers on them. This is the most they've been done. They're like disgustingly long because I can't even keep up with them. They grow so fast. I'm so malnour malnourished that my fingers are growing faster than ever before. And so I know I'm rambling, a little excited, you know, just got back from the run. But my main point of this video is to address the people that are saying that, or the person that is saying that I look malnourished. And I asked this person what about my appearance made them say that, because <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. I've actually never been told that in my life. In fact, most people comment on how young I look. People who, when I buy alcohol, um, you know, they're like, most of the time I don't even get carded. Um, and like just the other day, the lady's like, oh, I'll tell you what, you don't look like you're born in 82. So, you know, I am 32 years old and I, I'm working my ass off. You know, I, I usually get about four or five hours of sleep on the weekdays because I have to run late. And, you know, when you work out late, it just kind of keeps you up. It gives you that extra like energy to where you just can't, and you, you know, you have to shower. And um, so it takes a while. I just, I just don't get to sleep. And I try to make up for that on the weekends, but... Honestly, um, I like to have fun. I like to cut loose. It's like a vacation to me because I do work so hard during the week that I have to let loose. And yes, I am um, I am still a drinker. And I'm not going to lie. And I have, I have cut down a lot on alcohol. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I don't get drunk. <laughs> Especially like last weekend, you know, I had this gorgeous pool spread all to myself with me and my boyfriend. And it was awesome. 
and yeah, I got drunk. I mean, I'm not saying like shit face drunk or something, but there was day drinking involved. And so when I come back on Monday, Tuesday and make videos, you know, you might see that sort of thing. So I'm not trying to make excuses and say, oh, I look like shit because, you know, I'm so busy and I'm a mom and, you know, all of this stuff. <laughs> I just want you to keep in mind, <laughs> um, and again, this is mostly for this vihi or vehe person that is that is harassing me. Um, and again, I wouldn't call it that if it were like legitimate points, but it's gotten to the point where he's just like, you're stupid. And I'm like, get a life. Like if you have this much to say about veganism, then start a flipping channel already. Like obviously nobody, uh, none of my um, subscribers like want to listen to this guy. Uh, he shared my video and had like one or two comments in the very beginning backing him up. So I'm like, my main thing is I'm just kind of baffled at why this guy is even taking the time to write these big long like things. And the, the last thing he said is that Tcon Campbell isn't a vegan. And I'm like, okay, well, he doesn't call himself a vegan, but he eats vegan. <laughs> like, look it up. It's not that hard. This is the type of research you get from Weston A. Price people. Sounds good. Oh, makes sense. They're anti-Monsanto, whatever. Let's go with it. Like, they don't actually follow through and look it up because if you do, you'll see the shit doesn't add up. The links don't add up. All of your saturated fat are funded by the Dairy Council. If you haven't figured that out yet, then seriously, go look it up. Vihi or whatever your name is, I really encourage you to look at some of my other videos. You're only commenting on the Sally Fallon, the superficial one. I have numerous other videos with lots of sources, scientific journals that get into details. And I have, again, I invite you to look at my, um, it's all transferred from my Tumblr page over to my Clarieberry Yahoo. I have Clarieberry, or excuse me, it's Clarieberry, K-L-A-I-R-E-E-B-E-R-R-Y. That's um, my name at uh, Facebook, my kind of public account, my vegan account. So you can check me out there. And um, I've got all the links there, or you can just look up High Carb Vegan Kansas City. And again, all of those links, all of the um, sources that I have are pretty much listed there. So that would be a good thing to do if you truly want to have a debate. You sit there and say that you want to truly have a debate, but you're bringing up stuff like T. Colin Kimball is not a vegan. He doesn't like to label himself as a vegan because most vegans just eat like fake hot dogs all the time and stuff like that. That's why he's not saying he's a vegan, not because he eats animal products. It's ridiculous. So like learn what you're talking about before you're talking about it. And again, I really encourage you to do that because you're really just making yourself look stupid. <laughs> he's like telling me I exercise too much. I'm like, okay, I just started exercising this much and I just went on like a five mile run and like, honestly, I mean, I broke a sweat. I got a pretty good sweat out of it, but like, I feel great. I'm not, I can talk. I could sing the whole time. I'm not over exercising. I don't exercise more than an hour a day. So, you know, I get it that you could technically be like, you know, exercising this much and be malnourished. Although I really don't think you're going to have the energy to do this for a long time. I've been, if you want to look at my map, my hike, I've been doing this sort of level of activity, you know, like every other day, daily runs, things like that, like for six months now, um, ever since I became a vegan, I've had so much more energy and all of that working out that I used to want to do. And it would never happen because I'd be too tired. I'm able to do it now. And that's why I'm losing weight. So I think, um, back to the issue. I also, besides all of these things, being very busy, being, um, underslept, um, and also, you know, I really don't eat perfectly on this diet yet. I'm still eating too much fat. I'm still eating too much salt, still eating not enough fruit, honestly. And um, I don't drink enough water yet either for what my diet's saying. Like I'm trying, but I just want to put out there that I've only been a vegan and eating this diet for six months. Okay. Just a little bit over six months. So what you see here is actually more of a result of a lifelong. I mean, I've been eating meat and dairy since I was a 
little, little child. I was, I drank, um, I think on day two, I was on formula. Yeah. So I've been drinking cow's milk products since I was two years old. <laughs> so I think, like I said, that that's what you're going to see. And honestly, if you want to go back and look at my other pictures, I may have a little bit like slimmer of a face and a little bit narrow, but just a slim face and a little bit of indention here doesn't mean you're malnourished. Um, seriously, look up the definitions and the warning signs of malnourishment and you'll see that I don't have any of those. Like, okay, you can barely see my collarbone you can see more muscle back here than anything else like and kind of the last thing that I wanted to talk about here is that I don't give a shit about my appearance too much I mean I do but I don't I'm like anybody I do I want to feel good but at this point in my life I mean that's what it's about is feeling good and I could honestly give a shit what other other people think as long as I feel good. So that's why I'll do videos. And honestly, I never thought that that would be me. Doing a video after a run when I'm all sweaty, doing a video, um, you know, when I don't have any makeup on. I mean, I honestly, I never wear makeup. Like I've, I've been an, a non-makeup wearer for years and years and years and years. And I started to get, you know, to where I felt like I was going to, I was needing it. Like I was going to need it. Um, and that was kind of like right up to the point where I started going vegan. And then now I'm back to like, I know I could use some mascara. I know I could use some concealer and definitely some powder. I mean, I'm not trying to act like I'm flawless. Obviously people are calling me malnutrition and saying that I'm a three and, and a, not a 10. Like I think I am. Um, yeah, so funny. The things that these meat eaters come up with. Anyway, so as you can see, for not wearing any makeup, I don't know about you, but I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, there may be some leftover mascara like right there. I think the rest of it's gone. Can you see that? Do do I look malnourished to you guys? I mean, look at look at these eyes. I got I got some bags because yeah. 10 10.32 at night. I've been awake since probably at least 6. I think I woke up at 6.12 today. woke up way late. <laughs> so, <laughs> excuse me. So, yeah, I've eaten nothing but actually fruit and a tiny little bit of pasta today with a little bit of coconut oil on it. No animal products. Ran about 5 miles. Still not even tired. Not ready for bed. Been very productive. Mopped my floors. I mean, I'm not sitting around all day either. So I just want you to see, oh, here in the light, look, you can see those wrinkles. I mean, I'm getting close, up close and personal here on purpose. Oh, and look, I have a cold sore. Can you see that? Yeah, it kind of looks like a, uh, like a, like dry skin. Honestly, I don't get cold sores that often. Um, I definitely have not had one for the past six months. Usually, usually maybe like once a year and usually it is because of something like in the past, I have only gotten them like when I'm stressed out. So I was kind of like wondering why the hell am I getting this? Like, you know, I'm a vegan. I'm supposed to be invincible, you know, <laughs> which isn't really true. I mean, it gives you a way better starting point. It gives you a way better, you know, jump start. but you're still a human, you know, and there's still many other things that could potentially take you down. It's not like it's a fail proof plan to never get hurt or sick. So anyway, back to the cold sore, I was like, oh great, this whole cold sore thing is coming on. And I have to tell you, um, this is probably the peak of it right now. And usually it goes for about a week. Usually it goes for three or four days, maybe a week, and then gets to the peak and then starts to subside. This is the best cold sore that I've ever had in my life. Scouts honor like seriously, it's going away already. It's been the least Noticeable and I've always been kind of lucky because if I get them I get them right there on the lip But usually it's very prominent and it the sore pops out like you can see you know Like the white part this is pretty gross, but you can see the white part on the outside um, and no, you know, just to be clear, this is not something that I've, you know, gotten, you know, just since, just since I'm a vegan, like I said, I've had these before. I don't get them frequently, but, and oh, the, the other thing I was going to say about that is I got sunburn the other day and I have something else to say about that too, but that is one of the causes of an outbreak. 
is um, too much exposure to sun. I was out all day drinking, and of course, drinking didn't help, so that explains that. And then the other thing I want to say is um, directed at one of his other comments, which was because I asked him, you know, like, well, what are what do you, what about my appearance, you know, makes me look malnourished? Does it like my bags? Because I told him in a comment, you know, I said. Uh, I don't get much sleep and I forgot to tell him, you know, I don't wear makeup and all this other stuff. But, um, about the tan, I, I just think it's really, really, really funny because he's trying to act all ed educated and then just act like he can diagnose a vitamin D deficiency just by looking at me. He's like, oh, well, you look much better now that you've got a tan. I think you got some vitamin D that you needed. And this is just a classic. It's just like a, you know, hypocritical, judgmental, jump to conclusions, don't do your research, meat eater, because do you know why? I'll let you think about that one for a minute. Because I... Um, <laughs> I think it's really funny that he thought I was vitamin D deficient because, um, you know, and maybe some of the old, maybe some of the old videos that he's watching, maybe that's true, but I don't think that's true because he was looking, you know, at some of the more recent videos too. So, um, yeah, just want to let him know that I actually do lay out in the sun, like, like every other day for like an hour and just because you don't see it all over my face like I don't burn that easily I stay out for hours I stay out till my skin gets flushed and it gets a little pink not burnt but flushed just like they say and that should be more than enough time to me for me to absorb the adequate amount of vitamin D and even in the winter you know I'm still safeguarded by the um, I still take vitamin D and I also I um, I do some tanning, which, you know, you're probably going to talk smack on that too, but, um, you know, it's personal choices, you know, and just like the exercising thing, like you can sit there and spend your whole life stalking me on my page, on my channel, typing these long winded comments that really nobody, nobody is paying attention to except me. And I'm not even reading most of them all the way through. It's like, oh, that's bullshit. I get the drift. Let's respond or not. So um, it's just one of those things like you can say that I don't look good and you can compare me to 20 year olds who are wearing makeup or whatever you want but you know like I said let's see your photo let's see how nourished you look and you know you want to just sit there on your little high horse and say oh well I'm getting better I'm getting healthier I'm getting healthier well we'll see about that and like I said if you want to you know say anything then yeah your 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 pictures do make a difference you can't you know even if you're even if you're posting before and after pictures I mean come on it's it's not rocket science if your goal is really to help people and have people listen to you then you know you might want to work on that because people aren't that stupid they're not gonna sit there and listen to some random troll on the internet who doesn't even have a picture before they're listening to someone who's you know showing basically almost every aspect of their lives and um, pretty much proving everything that you're saying wrong <laughs> so yeah thanks for the laughs it's been great I really hope that you like I said put the ego down um, if you're a Weston A. Price people, you should know that there's so much misinformation out there that you really have to be careful. And you really shouldn't be that egotistical to automatically presume that you've got it all figured out when you haven't even tried this side. And you may think that's hypocritical of me to say, but the fact is I've been on your side. I've been on both sides and I feel so much better. So you can sit there and judge me and say I'm overeating or, you know, I'm not eating enough of the right foods or that I'm over exercising but the fact is, is I feel fucking amazing and my life has honestly never been better the entire aspect my boyfriend and I's relationship my kids and I's relationship my house everything my looks the way I feel my relationship with God I feel fucking amazing so like I said just I mean, I appreciate it. I'm flattered. I am so flattered that you would honestly take the time. And, you know, I don't, like, think you're an evil person or something, and I don't hate you. I just, like, don't get it. Like I said, if you really want to help people, why just try to reach one person? Like, why are you 
just stalking my page. You know, that's why I'm kind of intrigued. Like, I just don't get it. There's like tons of vegans out there. And, you know, if you really wanted to reach people, start a channel so people can, you know, give you the same treatment that you've given me so nicely. Since you care so much, you know, spread your wonderful information. Or are you scared of people finding out that you're wrong? Like I said, look it up. Been on both sides, been 10 years. Weston A. Price is so outdated. So outdated. Do yourself a favor. You know, yes, standard American is worse than Weston A. Price. That doesn't mean it's the best diet in the world. Doesn't mean it's optimal. Doesn't even mean that it's healthy. Peace out. Eat fruit. Okay, so before I leave you guys tonight, I just want to leave you. I went to the first website that popped up when I looked up like something like how to tell if you're or signs of malnutrition, right? So, adults. The most common symptom of malnutrition is unplanned and unexplained weight loss. Seeing as how I've actually gained a little bit of weight over the past 6 months, really not doesn't fit me, does it? Yeah. Six months ago, Christmas, I was about 114. I was about 112 to 116. I had just gotten down to about that level after, well, I just kind of came down a little bit from probably middle of 2013. I was like 116, 118, and I had come down from 120, 123, 125, um, and, for, and so on for, from being a meat eater. So as you can see, I've definitely not lost any percentage of body weight, actually gained weight. So anyway, sometimes weight loss is not obvious. It just occurs slowly over time. Again, no weight loss yet. The 10 pounds that I've lost is from the high that I reached this year during this diet. So you can't say that I'm losing weight from this diet. From the time I started, I've gained weight. So, here we go. Other signs of malnutrition may include, oh, maybe I should just show you. Feeling tired all the time and lacking energy. Taking a long time. Oh geez, I, I suck at that, I'll just read it to you. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it around the other way. Taking a long time to recover from infections. Again, this is the fastest that I have ever healed. Um, haven't been sick. Knock on wood. Haven't been sick in over a year because I started my business and I haven't taken a day off. I've been um, working every single day. I own my own business. I do have a backup plan in case I do get sick, but I don't. Delayed wound healing. Oh, psh, again. Um, actually, while I was on my pole the other day, see my pole over there? Oh, hi, Rocky. He's sleepy. I took him on a run. I only took him on half my run because he's like, can't handle it. He can't keep up with me. Anyway, delayed wound. Oh, I, I hit my toe. I was over there, and you see how it's so close. It's a little bit close to the wall, and yeah. So I accidentally <laughs> hit my little toe. I'd show it to you, but my toes are probably all gross, still in my, my shoes. So yeah, I have a little red toe. <laughs> it's cute. But yeah, it's it's healing really fast. In fact, the first day, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to run on it because walking on it was kind of hard, but I ran on it fine. It's already gone down in color a lot. Like, I don't get bruises. I used to get bruises a lot. I would have, like, random bruises on my leg. I forgot to mention this all in my um, benefits, you know, of six months on the diet. But it's true now that I think about it. And like I said, I have a lot less like uh, congestion and stuff every single day. I used to get a lot of more just colds and stuff like that throughout the year. I had a bad cold or what I thought was a cold right when I started this diet. Pretty sure that was just detox though. So no delayed wound healing nonetheless. Irritability. Actually, my irritability on this diet has gone down. Ask my kids, especially while shopping. Like, going on a long time, you know, strenuous. Shopping for me is strenuous. <laughs> and it's like, you know, because I like to read all the labels and everything. So, yeah. I don't get irritable. 
I, I can sail right through it and I, my blood sugar stay fine. So I'm actually less irritable. Poor concentration. Another thing I kind of forgot to mention because it's been pretty subtle and like my mom has a bad memory and like she's kind of flighty like like I am and I'm also like a double cancer and I, I've heard a lot of people say that cancers have like bad memories and you know are kind of flighty too so um I have that going against me and stuff like that so poor concentration though no difference if if anything it's gotten better finding it hard to keep warm now this one you might have got me on no not really uh again i've always been a um always been a little bit of a cold-blooded i don't you know i don't like the winter that much i don't mind it you know a couple of years ago actually i remember it was the first year i didn't go outside with the boys ever and that was before I definitely have been going outside the past two years with them. You know, it's just like too cold. And I think I might have been depressed at that point too. But yeah, so nope, no, no, um, not hard finding to keep warm. I mean, I do get chilled easily, but I've always been like that. I've always preferred like a tropical climate. Persistent diarrhea. Um, no, that's not an issue either. I definitely probably go more than most people, but it's not, I had no problems there at all. In fact, the whole elimination issue has gotten amazing, actually. Like, at first, it's kind of iffy. You're, you know, your, your stomach has to get used to this change in, in food, but definitely, um, I'm so regular. I mean, three times a day, and right when I wake up, you know, don't have to have coffee or anything. I mean, I don't, I don't drink coffee at all. So, I mean, yeah, I find that's funny, you know, feeling tired all the time and lacking energy. I don't do Coke. I don't do caffeine at all. I barely even do chocolate anymore. So not, I mean, compared to most of the population, I, ha I would say, you know, it's obvious I have more energy. I think most of the population is drinking caffeine to get through their day in some way, shape, or form. And I drink absolutely zero caffeine. So, yeah. So not tired, lacking energy. I mean, obviously... I've been up for a while now, and I'm still yipping my face off. So, and then the last one is depression, and um, I don't know if you guys can tell that I'm not depressed. <laughs> and I love they spelled diarrhea wrong in here, but anyway, um, yeah, not depressed. Like I said, my life's gotten better in every way, shape, or form, and I'm so actually thankful that I found this diet, and I actually find it really um, just amazing. I'm I'm dumbfounded. I'm in awe of how much better I feel in every way. And not just even in my life, like just like mentally knowing myself, feeling better, more hopeful about the future, like everything, it's crazy. So much more hope and and um, liveliness and the opposite of depression. I mean, when you think about what depression is, um, in fact, let's just take a second here to look it up. Definition depression. Here we go. Severe despondency and dejection typically felt over a period of time and accompanied by feelings of hopeless and inadequacy or the act of lowering something or pressing something down. So despondency, that's like your, you know, regular thing. Like I said, I'm feeling very hopeless and I feel better about myself than ever. I mean, obviously I'm sitting here on YouTube with a cold sore I need a shower. I'm all sweaty. I don't really think that's um, inadequacy. So, the act of lowering something down or pressing something down. Um, and that is typically, if you're depressing something, um, it's, you're, there's another definition, like I, I haven't seen kind of what I want. I mean, yes, it's a state of feeling sad. Yes, it is a medical condition, like I get that, but the actual, probably even original, nah, pressing down. An act of depressing or a state of being depressed as a pressing down, here we go. A, B, C. A is pressing down. This is on an act of depressing and state of being depressed. 
Number three, reduction in activity. Amount, quality, force, lowering of vitality or functional activity. So in that way, I am the opposite of depressed because I've raised my, um, my activity levels for sure. So, and you know, it, it goes with everything. Like I never sleep in. I slept until 11 o'clock last, a couple weekends ago. And it was cause I had really stayed up late during the week and it was like, wow, it just hit me how much I changed because how much I used to sleep in. And really honestly, my kids got in the habit of doing what I did as a kid and going and watching Saturday morning cartoons, except for they were like doing video games or something. And they would come and, you know, mom, can I pour myself a bowl of cereal for breakfast? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And, you know, they know they're okay. They know they could get me for anything. But I, I used to do that as a meat eater. Never, you know, has happened once. And I don't even know how long. So yeah, not depressed, more active. Let's move on. Now, they're gonna, they talk about BMI. Healthy adults is between BMI um, 18.5 and 24.9. Having a BMI under 18.5 could suggest you're at a high risk for being malnourished. Hmm. So yeah, I actually, I'm two pounds off from being into the 19s. Now, that doesn't mean 19 BMI, that means into the 19s. So I'm basically right at about 20. So obviously, I'm in the healthy range. Healthy range, 18.5 to 24.9, mine's 20, pretty much right in the middle, barely on the low side. So it does go on to say, although you may be considered at risk if you have a BMI between 18.5 and 20. So I'm barely, barely even in the risk factor for being malnutritioned. So of course it says it's not the only indicators. You can actually be overweight and obese and still be malnourished. So that's what I think it's funny when this person tries to act so educated and just be like, malnourished like why because I'm losing weight because my face is thinner than yours because I like didn't get that much sleep last night like I'm not exactly sure where this supposedly educated person is coming from so when to see your GP if your BMI is lower than 18.5 you've lost more than 5 to 10 percent of your body weight over the past three weeks three to six months excuse me or you experience the symptoms listed below. Now it doesn't say two out of, you know, eight or whatever. It doesn't say seven out of eight. What, we could maybe give me two, maybe. Not really though, even like finding it hard to keep warm and what, I don't know, concentration. I mean, if you were really being a stickler, no, it's not true. It's not true. So then they go on to talk about it in children my children actually have grown more in the past six months, or I should say faster in the past six months, have had no changes in being sluggish, irritable, or anxious, and no changes in skin or hair. And in fact, my, um, my skin's gotten better, and like I said, my nails have gotten better. So it's really funny. I just, I just had to get on here and make this video. I was going to maybe take a shower first, but, uh, you know, whatever. So, um... Yeah, I think I've I think I've uh, sufficiently responded, but go ahead and let me know what you think. Do you think I'm malnourished or not? Do we think that the stalker should post a picture so we can see how nourished and healthy that they think they are? Anyways, Rocky, come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here, Baba. So we'll leave you with Rock. And I'm going to go take a shower and start to wind down, do a little social networking, and go to bed. So, yeah. Sorry, this is really long. Take care, though.